Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I came up with this animation. So do well to stick around to the end to see how the final video turned out. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Adobe Animate is the software I used for this animation. And I actually like Adobe Animate because it's easier to export stuff into After Effects with your layers intact. Alright, so basically I start with a very rough sketch of the key poses in the whole scene and that's kind of be that's gonna be like a map for me to follow to get the actual animation done when i get there so basically i'm just going to do the foundation of the animation at this stage i kind of add a little bit of in-betweens just to help me see how the animation might turn out not too many in-betweens to make it smooth per se but i just need to have some kind of evidence that the rough animation that I'm doing is actually going to end up right. And I think this is the most important step in animation as the rough animation because um, it kind of carries the foundation of the quality of the animation you're doing. And everything is going to be based on it. So if the animation isn't right at the beginning during the rough stage, it's not going to be perfect as you detail it. And it kind of allows you to see the unnecessary things that you're supposed to take out and basically the changes that you need to make to the animation before you actually make the final one. So this stage is actually one of the most important. Keep that in mind whenever you make an animation. Take your time and make the rough animation very clear, as clear as possible. And based on that, you can get a very good animation. Next is the line art. Most people prefer to keep their lines very cleaned up nicely and prefer to have a lot of in-betweens to make the animation smoother but I tend to disobey this usually because I'm still in the testing phase of animation where I know I'm going to be making a lot of mistakes so I don't get myself caught up in making the animation look too clean or even have the best frame rate experience I'm more interested in getting used to the technique not the perfection because I don't have time to waste <laughs> Because I can't spend all my time trying to create something so detailed while I'm just trying to understand the concept rather than making a masterpiece. Yeah, so moving on. So as you can see, my line art quality kind of looks a bit sketchier than you would expect. And that doesn't matter because um, it works for this purpose. So yeah, it's fine. It's fine with me. But don't be like me. <laughs> Try to keep your lines cleaner especially when you're using it for academia purposes or for an action um, or for a full feature animation or something that you might be using for awards and animation festivals, whatever. Yes, so don't be like me. Keep your lines cleaner. Don't be like me. Well, if you're learning, you could, you could follow my path, but whatever. Just do whatever you think is best. All right, so the next stage, I'll be adding my colors. I love and hate this part at the same time. Why? Because you're literally going to go over all the frames one by one just to have some more life into it by adding the colors. That's a lot of work. But I love the result it gives because you end up with a more realistic feel since you now get to see the depths depicted in the shadows and the lighting of the character that you've drawn yeah so the colors make the animation look more alive but it's a very tedious process because you do it frame by frame for depending on the style of animation you're doing but since i'm more into frame by frame animation i have to color frame by frame this sucks oh well as long as i get the quality i need that's all that matters i think that's what you should be worried about I think that's what you should be thinking about as well. So, after creating this animation with Adobe Animate, I moved on to the next stage, which is compositing. And I do this with After Effects most of the time. So basically, I just imported the Adobe Animate file into After Effects to create a new composition. Now, I spent a long time working on the compositing because I'm still new to Adobe After Effects. And after putting a few things together, I realized that a video clip of the fire that I was using at the background 
was making the whole thing look weird because I'm kind of mixing realism with low frame rate 2D animation because the fire is probably like 24 frames and the character animation is actually like 12 frames per second which is not gonna work out if you put them together because they're not gonna feel like they exist in the or that they belong in the same environment I don't know if you get what I mean but basically different frame rates will make it look like the background is too smooth and the character himself is jerky and I didn't want that in my animation so I moved into Blender and created a 2D animation fire effect after watching a bunch of videos about how to make 2D animation fire in Blender so yeah there you have it I rendered a 2D fire in 12 frames per second so that it will kind of match the character animation that I made and yeah I guess it worked it looks better than the previous one the realistic fire video clip that I had so after a few tweaks in After Effects everything came together nicely and this was the final result. Now be sure to like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing because I'm going to be making more videos like this that way you get to see whenever I post a new one. So yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.